All right, Sunday evening. Let's play around with something. I have something here, an ISO that I've built and I want to test it. I can't add anything. Yeah, I should make one. So I'm going to test an Arch Linux, well, actually an Arco Linux derivative. The point is we want you to make the most out of your operating system. The only way to do that is to learn and to understand how is an operating system working. And an ideal school to do that, or university, is Arch Linux. It has learning phases and so many videos, 1700. And if you watch them every single time, you become smarter. And with that, you become more in control. And that's a good feeling. All right, everything's set the way I like it. And then we're going to get the optical drive of someone. He's going to be surprised that I've made a video about it. <laughs> and we have the Loop Linux built and Loop Linux ISO and Loop Linux out. I guess it's going to be out. I have a Loop Linux ISO. Boot it up. Now we see all these messages, blah, blah, blah. Get rid of them. We have to boot Linux, uh, save graphics. Uh, okay, cool. Okay. It's of course based on Arch Linux. And that's the idea, right? We have Brad's uh, switch, uh, switch pro. Brad spin off. We have. Um, Peter's spin-off, there is a Linux, oh, no, don't know his name anymore, VV Linux OS, sorry, but can't recall. And this is another ISO. I've never seen it, I've just built it. You can build it too. What you do, you type in dot slash 30, tap, enter, done. That's it, and then you have an ISO. Now, this is cool. This little thing is flashing, that's a cool thing loop linux and we got this installed on our system well not yet so this is the live system the icons are uh, right not all are nice but they are very uh, psychedelic i think the word is <laughs> so colorful let's call it colorful so we have here desktops i suppose yeah one two three some things that are down here maybe it's CPU, maybe it's network, all kinds of things. Now, how should I install this thing? I type install. Install. There it is. Install system. All right. Welcome to the Loop Linux installer. Can we make that smaller? Maybe in the corners? No, okay. Can't move it around either. That's okay. American English. About 1.3.1. Okay, next. Brussels is good. You know, I need my Belgian keyboard. And that's good also. Erase disk. No swap. We have the swap to file if you want to. Next. This is me. Will it let me use small things? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I have a complex password if I need it. Nah, then he's happy. And then we have the browsers we can select. Okay, okay. And off we go. That's a nice wallpaper. That's one of mine, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And off it goes, right? So you can make this yourself. I just can't seem to be able to switch this thing. Ah, here we see Loop Linux, oh, PSPWM, and then, okay, ah, okay. So this is a PSPWM thing. I wonder what keyboard shortcut I should take to move it a bit around, but I think 
it's just unmovable. <laughs> Can we still see the menu? No. Mm -hmm. Control T. Yeah, we got this something. How about that? Warning database law. That's normal. Arch packages 1308, 766, uptime three minutes. Alacrity is the choice of terminal. We have 20 choices for terminal. Ah, it's choices, stress, stress choice. ZSH resolution and omox x resources reverse is the theme icons beauty line so if you're wondering what these icons were beauty line and for the rest a nice uh, little logo character not in range all right Update is working, the same aliases, that's cool. So the things up here, database file is not there because we never typed update yet. So now the databases are coming in and we won't see that error anymore. Uh -huh, there's a new config we could upgrade to, but that's too late, that's too late. We're already doing it. So no. No, it is. It's very small to see, but I'm going to show you the ZSHRC and um, done it with Nano. There are some setup things. Z style completion things. Binding the keys. And there we go. AUAP, AUP, AUP, PAMAC upgrade AOR. And grub up is sudo update grub. And update grub is probably somewhere else then. And tar, tar minus ZXVF. So a lot of ways to make your work easier. That's what alias is for. And that's why I suggest you make them, but make them in the dot dash RC dash personal. They will never get overwritten. Put them in the personal file. And there you can play along. You can even overwrite. So if you say update is blah, blah, blah on that Linux, you just make it bash RC personal update equals something else. The last one works. The last one he will take. So. No need to delete, to delete anything in the Bash RC, just overwrite them in the, um, the personal one. I always like to read aliases on different ISOs. Again, it's Linux, can be used anywhere. Can be used where you want. You do recognize some of our stuff, of course. Here is one to copy the ZSHRC from the ETC scale. Uh, not sure if we have it. Uh, it's an interesting thing to have it. Cycle. What do you cycle? Oh, we cycle with a script. Wall cycle. Auto while. Wall cycle dot sh. So there's so much out there. There's so much freedom. There's so much things to, to enhance your Linux experience. Please, guys, do just that. It's a big Lego box. Play with the Lego pieces. All right, we're booting up. And this is our new system, All right? We have the same look, of course. Hopefully, the Calamaris is gone. Yeah, it's gone. We have Discord, Telegram already on board. And we have here a lot of stuff to write USBs on the windows. Time shift is here. Lucky backup is here. That's the menu. I think that's the menu we're using now. G G J menu. And the rest. Uh, well, okay. Settings. 
Konki Zen is there. HP probably has a HP printer, right? So why not install it on your uh, system? We used to have it on our system, uh, but yeah, we wanted to get lean and mean. <laughs> so it's not there anymore. Steam is installed. How about that? Right. Why not? Just install it on your system. Articlinux B. Check out articlinuxb.com. That's simple. Having Steam on your ISO. That's simple. It's deleting a hashtag. I think you can do that. And then graphics. Shotwell is installed as well. I haven't used it much, but it's one of the better. That all depends on your workflow, what you do, right? Plank is here. Can we launch this? Huh, look at that. Let's put you up there. Oh my god, these colors to the top. To the top, I say. Go to the top. No. Bigger, of course, right? And always jump up. Uh, that's a virtual box thing. It will work on real metal. That's true, but looks nice. Just get rid of this one and get rid of this one. <laughs> then it looks nice. All icons that are similar. Alina Etcher is there. Control T, Control Shift Enter. Both will work. And there you go, guys. I'm proud of your work, Aman. So, um, another video to keep people enthusiastic about Linux. It just happens to be Arch Linux. But there's so much you can do. Take a look at this rounded BSPWM, right? I hope it inspires people to say, okay, okay, I'm gonna stick around. I'm gonna learn more. All right, guys, cheers.